We got a super hypo Aztec boa. Aztec is co-dominant. You can see the patterns right here, similar to like this pattern, solid tail. Super hypo Aztec. It's sharp albino and anery. So they call, I, I believe they call those snow glows. If I'm incorrect, please correct me. It's a snow glow. It's kind of like the moon glow version when you're dealing with the cow straight albino. Is in the moon glow, you got an is is a boa that's hypo, that's anery, and it's also al albino. Hypo albino and anery. That's a moon glow. So that's what we're dealing with right here with this Aztec right here. Then over here, I have a more of a silver color boa constrictor. And this one, I like this tongue. This is a hypo anery, so that's what we, what we call ghost. But it's probably a super hypo form, looking how clean it is. And it's an Aztec as well. And it's parahead, so it's either gonna, a parahead, now the term parahead means when a bow is paradigm and you breed a bow that's paradigm, it'll either pa it'll pass down or paraglow, because remember paraglow is a hypo paradigm. When a bow is paradigm, it's gonna pass down either to one of genes. It's gonna pass down the baby's either gonna receive a sharp albino gene or it's going to receive a bow with caramel gene. Right? This is a paraglow. You can see the difference. And I wanna put this against the sharp albino because this is a shark. This is a paraglow. Now you, you can see the coloration is different. This guy has a little bit more black. It got little tabs of black in it. And just like a VPI and anything else, it kind of like it doesn't wash completely away the black, the black pigmentation. And they haven't gone through their first share yet. So when they go through their first share, it's gonna show a lot. But you can see this has no black. This boa has no black in it at all. Alright guys, so here where the confusion comes in big time. These are my 2018 boas that I've kept so far. That I produced last year. Around this time. Okay? Here's the thing. So this is something that you that I that I wouldn't do that I learned as soon as when I did it. The mother of these particular boas is a high-tech parahead entry. Okay? The father was a possible super hypo Aztec parahead entry. With the entry chain proving out that, that, that makes it easy to uh know that both both parents carry the anery gene. First mistake I learned from breeding that two pairs was I produced some super Aztec boas, meaning that their Aztec gene was co-dominant, but it was a dominant form. And just like a motley boa, the Aztec boa scented, um, had defects, and there was like six of them. It was a beautiful looking boa, but they all died. They all had head wobbles too. Kind of like how the ball pythons, the spider balls, they, they had, they, they couldn't, um, it, it just was a defect. So that was the first mistake I've learned. The second mistake that I've learned about breeding is when you breed a parahead to a parahead, sometimes it can be confusing. You won't be able to identify what the parents carry. Because you see, when I took uh, you know, my 2019 litter, I took a paraglow to a parahead. And because a sharp albino came out, that immediately tells me that the mother is not a parahead no more, it's a head shark. Over here, I don't know what the mother or the father is. They still can. They still label this. I still have to label them as parahead. I know they're anery, but I don't know if they what whether they got the bow and the caramel and the sharp albino. But I do love breeding these boas. The messing with the genetics is it gives you so many different varieties. All right, so here's where the questions come in. This is where I got confused at. So before this 2019 litter came about. I looked at these boas right here, this particular guy right here, and I labeled him a, para, a, a possible super hypo paraglow Aztec. 66% head entry. 
You see how he looks? Right? That's paraglow, right? But when you look at this paraglow, it looks different. Can't wait till he sheds and be able to see everything more. So the question that came to my head was like, okay, well, what if my boas, both of the parents are boa and caramels, and I don't even know it so now. And, and what is a boa and caramel called in the Sunglow version? Because this would be a, like this can, this can possibly be a boa and caramel Sunglow version of the Aztec. What is it called? BWC Sunglows? I don't know. So now the here we go a bigger confusion came, right? It threw me totally off because this girl right here, which I see, she growing like a weed. She looks sharp. She's got the red eyes. She's got the killer red just look. But she does. She's not sharp because you know why? We already identified that the black. She still has black pigmentation on her. So she can't be sharp. So if she's not sharp, what is this? A super hypo bone and caramel? Or a super hypo paraglow or a super paraglow. But the part that really throws me out throws me off is the eyes. Like, come on. And here goes the second confusion. I got a what I call the Arctic Glow Tech. And the Arctic Glow is a paradigm is a is a paradigm anery and the arctic glow tech is a paradigm anery hypo so i was calling this one an arctic glow tech which is very possible because it got black pigmentation and as, as we've seen we know it ain't the sharp albino strain because when we take this boa so this boa constrictor compared to the arctic glow tech you know that this boa is a totally different boa and the reason why it's different is because this is not a, a, a par this is not a paraglow version. This is a sharp albino version and an anery mixed in. No black at all. The super ghost Aztec. 66% parrot. Looking at it now, I might be incorrect. Could she be a bow woman caramel anery hypo Aztec boa? If so, what is that called? So what do you think? Are both of these ghosts? It's just crazy how both of them have a different color. One is really, really a silver ghost look, whereas the other one kind of has an albino look to it. So that makes me really think that it's not a ghost. What do you think? See, I've learned that instead of this year for 2019, instead of taking my parrot to parrot, and I have some beautiful, and you know, I have a beautiful parrot. Instead of doing that, I took my parrot glow to a parrot. And now next, I'll probably take more and stick with the sharp albino and take it to a parrot glow or parrot. So guys, in conclusion, I want to know what you guys think. Tell me exactly what you think, especially if you're experienced in this field. You know, overall, it was just, it was really fun. I'm glad you watched. I hope you learned something on this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Follow our page on Instagram at XOBOAS, and we also have a Facebook page. And please stay tuned because we do have some beautiful boas that are available. So if you have any questions or anything, just shoot me a DM or just simply comment on the page. Thanks a lot guys for watching and enjoy.